everyone, welcome to another Yarn Scrap Friday with me, Laura, and in today's video, I am making this teeny tiny little frog. Super cute and quite easy for beginners, so hopefully you'll give them a try. So for this tutorial, I'm actually gonna make a little brown frog, maybe he's a little toad, I don't know. <laughs> so we're gonna be using a sport baby weight yarn. So you're gonna need a kind of uh, a darker color, then a sort of belly color, and then tiny amounts of black just to make some eyes. You're also gonna need some toy stuffing or yarn scraps. I've got some of this furry yarn to use as yarn scraps. And uh, for stuffing, with that, I'm using a two millimeter crochet hook. So quite a small hook for the yarn we're using pair of scissors and a yarn tapestry needle as well for sewing in those ends. Okay, so let's begin. So the first thing we're going to do is a little slip knot as normal. So we're gonna grab our main body color first and work a slip knot. And we can either do a magic circle, magic ring or a chain for loop. I'll do a chain for loop just in case it's a bit easier for you guys. But this frog, I actually used a magic circle. So but you just work the same stitches into that loop. So we're gonna chain four, one, two, three, and four. Put our hook into our first chain, bring the arm through the first chain and straight through the loop on your hook. And you've got a little tiny loop of chains. And into there, we're gonna work eight single crochets. This pattern's in US terminology. So in UK terms, that's gonna be eight double crochet. The first thing I'm gonna do is a little chain one, not gonna count that as a stitch. Then put in your hook into the chain four loop, the center, be careful not to put it into that first chain, which can look bigger. Gonna bring the yarn through and then just wrapping it around the chains, work a single crochet. You want eight of those, so that's one, two, three, seven, and squeeze another one in, eight, and then if you've carried your yarn, you should be able to just pull the yarn and it brings in the center. You can also sew it close if it's too big. Um, but if you're working your magic ring, just work eight single crochet into the magic ring instead. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we are just going to slip stitch into our first single crochet to join the round. Okay, so that's the end of that first round. Um, we're going to do a little chain one to begin. We're not going to count that as a stitch either, so just ignore it. And we're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch we just slip stitched into. So go into that first stitch again and do two single crochet. And we're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch as well. Okay, there's so two in there. But then, so don't jump ahead. <laughs> then we're going to create um, his little eyes. So we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. And we're gonna slip stitch in that same stitch we just worked into. So bring in your hook down, just go back into that same stitch and just slip stitch into there. Okay, and that creates this sort of like little pico Thing here, which I'll worry about later. Then we're gonna do two single crochet in the next four stitches. Okay, in the next four. So two single crochet in the next stitch. One and two. Two single crochet in the next stitch. One and two. Two in the next stitch. and two in the next stitch as well. Okay, so two single crochet in the next four. And then we're gonna create another little pico thing like this. So again, we're going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and we'll slip stitch in that same single crochet just worked. Okay, so go back into that stitch again, work a slip stitch. And that should leave you with two stitches left and we're going to do two single crochet in the last two so two single crochet in the next stitch one and two 
two single crochet in the last stitch as well. Okay, one and two. Okay, so not including our slip stitches and little chain fours, we should have a stitch count of 16. Okay, and we're gonna slip stitch into the first single crochet. Now it looks like there's another stitch sometimes, that's what I call the fake stitch, it's your previous slip stitch. You've got a tiny little chain one there. So skip all those, find the first proper single crochet and slip stitch into there. Okay, so you've got something that looks a little bit, a little bit like a sort of top of uh, that Star Wars character whose name escapes me. Uh, but what we're going to do now is we're going to do two rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch around, but we're going to skip these ears, uh, eyes. So do a little chain one to begin. Then going back into the same stitch we just slip stitched into, we'll do a single crochet. We we'll do one single crochet in the first four stitches. So one in there, single crochet in the next stitch, and a single crochet in the next stitch, and a single crochet in the next stitch. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to skip the four chain and the slip stitch. The best thing to do is find your next single crochet. So you can see it there and just put your hook into there, bring the yarn through and then just pop all of those chains to the front, give your yarn a good tug and then finish your single crochet and you've skipped everything you need to skip. Okay, and then we're going to do one single crochet. You've done that first one there, but one single crochet in the next seven after that, so it'll be eight in total. So one, next one, two, next stitch, three, next stitch, seven, and next stitch, eight. So you've got eight between, eight stitches between the eyes, not ears, eyes. <laughs> single crochet in there and do the same thing again. Don't worry about all this stuff, just find the next single crochet and it's just on there. So you can see, if it's hard to see where it is, look for the two increase there. Work your way back, you've got a nice clear single crochet there, but you know there's two, so it's gonna be that little stitch right to the right of it. Put your hook in there, bring the yarn through, then worry about your chains, bring them all to the front. Give your yarn a tug and then finish the single crochet. And we should have four at the end, so that's one, next stitch, single crochet, two, single crochet to the end, next stitch, three, next stitch, four. Okay, and then we just slip stitch into our first single crochet to finish. Okay, so hopefully it looks something like that and you've got these little eyes popping up. Now we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch around. This should be a bit easier this time, keeping a stitch count of 16. Okay, so chain one, go back into the same stitch you just slip stitched into, work a single crochet, and do one single crochet in each stitch around, keeping a stitch count of 16. Okay. Okay, and when you're back at the beginning, just slip stitch into your first single crochet to join the round. Okay, so what we're actually gonna do now is we're gonna cut our yarn and we're gonna pull that loop through. I'm just gonna trim down the center piece so it doesn't get in the way. We can use that for scraps later, stuffing later. And what we're gonna do is an invisible uh, join, invisible end. So we're gonna thread on our yarn. And what you wanna do is, this was the single crochet we just slip stitched into. So count two over, one, two, and put your needle into that stitch. Don't pull too tightly. And what you wanna do is come back over and go back into the last stitch, but just the back loop only. And what that does, if you don't know already, it creates an invisible join and you can't see where the stitch is beginning and end and you'll still look like you've got 16 stitches, which is important for later. And then we're just gonna sew this down a little bit on the inside. And I'm just gonna cut it down a little bit to get it out of the way, um, but we're gonna tuck that on the inside. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this. 
And what we're going to do is, I think that's the back, so this is the front. So we're going to rejoin the same coloured yarn uh, on just by the ear, so we need to move over to here. So just find a stitch behind the ear, put your hook into there, and we're going to bring back the same colour, then just holding, holding that tail end, it's always a little bit fiddly, it's going to bring that through that stitch and secure with a chain one, which we're not going to count as a stitch. Pull nice and tight. Then again, go back into the same stitch again and work a single crochet. Okay, so we're going to ignore the chain one. So that single crochet is our first stitch. And we're going to do one single crochet in 10 stitches around. So in the next nine, so that's our first one. So we have 10 in total, next stitch. Do a single crochet, two, next stitch, three, next stitch, four, all single crochets, next stitch, five, next stitch, six, and I think I've done it around the front, but never mind. <laughs> next stitch, seven, this is going to be the back of the frog, next stitch, eight, Next stitch nine and the next stitch ten, which actually is slightly beyond the ear, but that's okay. Okay, so I should have done it this side actually where the back is, but it really doesn't matter. And uh, then what we're going to do once we've done one single crochet in those first ten stitches, we are going to create his little arm. So we're going to chain seven, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to slip stitch in the third chain from our hook, so we don't count the loop on a hook. There's one, two, three. So in that third chain, we do a slip stitch. Then we chain two, one, two, and we slip stitch in that same third chain. Okay, then you should have four chains left and we're going to slip stitch in those back to the main body. So slip stitch in the next stitch, in the next chain, slip stitch in the next chain, slip stitch in the next chain, and slip stitch in the last chain. Okay, then we are going to go back along those 10 stitches. So find the first one here, just below those chains, go into that first one and work a single crochet. And again, just work over to the other side. So one single crochet in these 10. So that's our first one. Next stitch, two. Next stitch. Stringy yarn, three. Next stitch, four, nine, and the last one, 10. And when you get to the last one, we're gonna make another arm. So we're gonna, again, we're gonna chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Slip stitch in the third chain, so one, two, three. Slip stitch in there. Chain two, one, two, and we're going to slip stitch in there, same chain again. And then we have four chains left, we slip stitch in those back to the main body. So slip stitch in the next chain. Slip stitch in the next chain. The next chain three and the last chain four. Okay, now we're back to the main body and again find those ten stitches you've been working into. And what we're going to do is we're going to do three rows, so seven, eight, nine. Three rows are just one single crochet in each stitch across, so keeping the stitch count of ten. So do that for three rows. Okay, so starting in that first stitch, do one single crochet in the next 10, two, and do that for three rows, okay? 
And just point out actually when you get back to the other side where the arm is, you want to make sure you stop on that tenth stitch. So don't work into the arm stitches and we just chain one, don't count that as a stitch and turn for your next row. Okay, so now I should do my next two rows. And it's coming up to the end of the third row. Just pull up a loop and it should look something like this. So again, don't work into this arm either. You just want to keep that stitch count of 10. Then we're going to do one more row for now. We're just going to chain one and turn and we're going to single crochet two stitches together. So we end up with a stitch count of five. So just go into that first stitch, bring the yarn through, the next stitch, bring the yarn through, pull through all three. Do that all the way across. Next stitch, next stitch pull through all three, sorry, off camera. Next stitch, next stitch, pull through all three. Next stitch, next stitch, pull through all three. And then the last two, next stitch, then the last stitch, pull through all three. Okay, so we're just gonna bring up a loop. We're not gonna fasten off. Um, we're just gonna bring up a loop and just pause our work there. But hopefully you've got something that looks like this. Now we need to work his belly, his little cute fat belly. So we're going to get our belly colour. And what we're going to do is we're going to chain seven with our underbelly colour. So do a little slip knot. Chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven, so chain seven. And we'll do one single crochet in our second chain from our hook, so don't count the loop on your hook. There's one, two, our second one. In there we do a single crochet. We do one single crochet in each chain across. So we have a stitch count of six. So that's two. Next chain, three. Next chain, four, five, the last one, six. Okay, so we have a little stitch count of six. Then we are going to do a chain one and turn. Don't count the chain one as a stitch. And again, we're just gonna do one single crochet in each stitch cross, so keeping a stitch count of six. Starting in that first one, so it's one. Next stitch, two. Next stitch, three. Next stitch, four. Next stitch, five. And the last one, which is always slightly on the corner, six. Okay, so we've still got a stitch count of six. Then we are going to chain one and turn again. Again, don't count the chain turning as a stitch. And then this time we're gonna do one single crochet in that first stitch, so just the one. But then in the next four stitches, we're gonna do two single crochet. So two single crochet in the next stitch, one and two two single crochet in the next stitch, one and two, two single crochet in the next stitch, one and two, two single crochet in the next stitch, one and two, and then the very last stitch we just do one single crochet. Okay, so just the one. And our stitch count should be uh, 10. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two rows of just one single crochet in each stitch cross, so keeping a stitch count of 10. So we do a chain one, we turn, do one single crochet in each stitch cross, do that for two rows, and you should have us keep your stitch count of 10, okay? So I shall do that and then I shall come back. One, two. Okay, coming up to the end of our second row. So we should still have a stitch count of 
10. I'm going to do one more row. I'm going to chain one, don't count that as a stitch, and turn. And we're going to single crochet two stitches together until we've got a stitch count of five, which isn't actually on my notes, but I remember I had to do this. So the first stitch and the second stitch, pull through all three, single crochet the next two together, then the next two. Then the next two, and then the last two. Okay, right, and then what we're going to do is cut our yarn. Don't need a long tail, just pull that through. <laughs> it doesn't seem to want to come through. There we go. And what we're going to do is kind of hide these uh, tail ends. So we're going to get our yarn needle thread on this first one and again the first thing to do is just sew over to the edge and what that does is it just secures that decrease and it's going to be the inside where it's just curving in and we're going to sew just a little bit into the middle and trim that down you can use this as stuffing as well and we'll do the same for the first tail end as well. Okay, so then this is going to be the belly and the stitch count at the top, the six is going to match up with the top here and then the five at the bottom will match up with the five here. But what we're gonna do though is we're going to put a hook back into our brown and work with this again. And we're gonna create the feet to begin with. So it's like the hands, oh, they're all legs really, aren't they? <laughs> we're gonna chain seven, so one, two, Three, four, five, six, oops, six and seven. And again, we slip stitch in the third chain from our hook. So one, two, three, slip stitch into there. Then we chain two, one and two, slip stitch into the same third chain. And then slip stitch in the remaining four chains back to the body, main body. So one, slip stitch in the next chain, two, slip stitch in the next chain, three, and the last one, four. And then what we want to do is, turning our frog upside down, is find that first stitch of five. You should have five along the bottom. Find the first stitch, and then you want to find the five stitches along the end of here, making sure these tail ends are on the inside. So find the fifth one, Maybe a little bit fiddly. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's put a hook into there. So in both stitches, then making sure our yarn's not tangled in any arms or anything, we're gonna bring that through both stitches and work a slip stitch. Okay, then we're gonna slip stitch in the next four. So find the next stitch, and then the next stitch on the cream. Slip stitch in there, so that's two. The next stitch, next stitch, and then that's three. Then the last two, Four, and then one more. Five. Okay, and then we need to make our next leg. So we're, again, we're gonna chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Slip stitch in the third chain. One, two, three. Chain two, one two, slip stitch in that same chain again, and then slip stitch in the four chains remaining back to the main body. One, two, three, and the last one, four. And then just to secure that, we're just gonna slip stitch just into the brown is fine in that same fifth stitch. 
Okay, and then we are going to cut our yarn. Leave a long tail for sewing. Pull that through. Nice long tail for sewing. And what you want to do now is we're going to sew and stuff at the same time along this edge, being careful to avoid his little arms. <laughs> going to sew these two joins together and then match up these six stitches. You should have six on the head, six on the belly, and then sew, <laughs> too many S's, sew down this edge, avoiding this arm, stuffing as you go. And then he is finished. So I shall do that. Going to, it'll take me a while to sew, so I won't bother showing on camera, but just as neatly as you can. The way I sew is I go in one side, just grab a bit of yarn, go over to the, the belly, give that a nice pull, and then go back in through the belly and then down to the back. And just do that all the way around. So again, back into the brown, up to the cream, and try and keep it as even as you can. Just check as you go that you're not distorting it. So I should do that, make sure to stuff it, and then I shall come back. So just making sure to stuff the head and the body. So it's got a nice little fat belly, it's cute. Okay, so along the top, I just actually, if you want to create sort of like a kind of like a mouth, I just sewed into the back loops only of the brown part. Um, but what I want to do now is when you get to the end here is I'm just going to sew into the body and right out to the top of his head. And then what that does is you can just give it a little pull and it kind of just pushes him all together to make him like his shape look a little bit better. Okay, she says. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna pull that up and cut. Okay, so there is our main little froggy body. And um, what we wanna do now is just add two little eyes. So we're gonna grab some black yarn <laughs> and uh, take, cut two short lengths of black yarn. She says and we're going to tie three knots into the center of each strand on top of each other. So one knot and these will become the eyes. Two, so just match them up. Three, and then once you've done that for both pieces, we sew each end into his little eye part, twisting it so you kind of got the center of that loop. So put in one end and then sew the other. Okay, those knots should catch on the outside, but we need to hide the black yarn. So we're gonna just knot it once on the back and then cleverly, if you can, we're gonna take each end and we're gonna tuck it under a little stitch here. If you can see that little stitch there and then go straight into the body. And then pull that through gently. And then do the same for the other, just twist that around, do the same for the other strand as well. Go under that little bit of yarn, straight into the body. And then we just trim down these tail ends. They should disappear on the inside. And then you've got his little eye on top there. And there's a little bit of black still on the back, but hopefully that's not too bad. And then we just repeat that for the other eye. So I'll repeat that for the other eye, and then I shall come back and show you the little finished froggy or toad. <laughs> and there we go. I've done that for the other eye. I don't know why this this little um, creature looks a little bit grumpier than the first one, <laughs> but there we go. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you managed to follow along. And if you want to, you can make some bigger frogs. And these are available, the bigger frogs, in our 
autumn issue of our digital crochet magazine Naturally Happy Bow which is available as part of our monthly subscription where you also get to enjoy behind the scene vlogs, our podcast, um, exclusive patterns and competitions and so much more so do check it out and a huge thank you to our current subscribers for helping make these tutorials possible so a huge thank you to you guys but I will see you soon for some more crochet crafting fun thanks for watching bye